Have you ever used your air hose in your shop and water comes out of it? Let's fix that. People use air in their shops for all kinds of different reasons. You have just simple pneumatic tools, air sprayers, even plasma cutters. None of those tools are good with moisture in them. So I do pressure casting, do resin casting. I put wood in there. I make sure the wood is absolutely dry. So it doesn't make sense to me to have dry wood and then introduce moisture into the air that I do the pressure casting with. So I'm going to fix that today. I'm going to put an inline filter in. I'm going to show you what I have out here and why I have a problem. So let's go look. My air compressor is about 60 feet away in another building. It has an inline filter right next to it and it goes underground and comes in and it comes into this building through conduit right down there and comes up and I have this air hose right here. A lot of times this thing will just shoot out water. It's almost like this is acting like a moisture trap uh, naturally right here like this is the natural place for the the condensation or moisture to to end up so we're going to help it i'm going to put an inline filter about right here so that uh, as you can tell this is kind of hard for me to get to back here when i built this i didn't plan on having this shelf here or whatever so i'm going to move this back here and then uh, we're going to see if we can fix our moisture problem so let's go in there and i'm going to show you what we're going to use here's the inline filter we're going to use the first thing you need to know is what size airlines you have i have a rapid air half inch line and that takes 3 8 inch fittings so i know when i ordered this i ordered 3 8 inch fittings this thing this is the box to it it comes with a gauge and a couple of fittings which we're not going to use that i just want to show you that and a couple other fittings i bought fittings i know i'm going to use that work with the rapid air this is going to be an elbow one with the threads and then this is another one that's going to come straight out of here and these what they look like i'll have links to all this stuff below i bought an assortment of fittings elbows straights y's and some t's this filter actually came with teflon tape but we're not going to use that we're going to use some kind of liquid teflon i have two examples right here and i'll link both these below uh, so let me get the stuff off the wall out there and come back and we'll start putting this thing together it should be pretty easy just a couple of things before we start this thing has arrows on it, and that's going to be the direction of the airflow. So the stuff that comes from the other shop is going to come in here and go out here. Our gauge is going to be here. This is a regulator. We'll mess with that when we get it done. Your filters are in here. To get to your filters, it's this easy. That's it. There's your filter. Put it back in there. <laughs> there you go. That easy. So this is going to be the orientation of it. I'm going to need that to go down. And this is going to come straight out. I'm going to put this piece of tube in, in between these two. Uh, I found out that my quick connect was messed up. So I got another one. We're going to put that in right now. So I'm probably just going to do some time lapse and show you. Let's go. While I'm putting this thing together, I'd like to tell you that I have the one that has the 3 8 inch fittings. The Amazon link I provide will have options for whatever size you have in your shop. There we go. We have our two assemblies ready. Uh, I'll put this together when it's out there. So let's go out there and mount that to the wall. Well, needed to add a little spacer here, no big deal. I'll just connect that to that and that to that, and we'll be right back. Okay, all of this is hooked up, so I'm going to go to the other shop, turn the air pressure on, and then get this regulator where I want it. So I'm just going to leave this running while I go over there. All right, I'm back, and let me see this regulator. You pull it out. When you turn to the right, you're going to let air in. Should. I like how they had it sit all the way down, because I like moving it up myself. I think 125 is going to be good for me. I want those pots to fill up as fast as possible, so I think that's about it. That's how you let your air out, or you, that's how you get your water out when it gets moisture in there. 
whenever you let the air out, these are going to relax anyway and let water out also. I turned the air off at the compressor and I'm super happy. I don't hear any leaks right now or anything, so I have to let it let the air out with this. So we'll go ahead and do is pay attention down here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but look, if there was water in there, it'd be coming out right now. So I'm super happy with this. Let's talk about it. I'm happy that I did that. And it's one of those things where you're in your shop and you see it and you just don't somehow, you just don't have the time to do it. I'm happy that I did it. And when I do my pressure castings from now on, I'm going to have a little bit more peace of mind that I don't have any moisture in there. Once again, plasma cutters, everyday pneumatic tools. Um, hopefully I just showed you how easy it was to fix that problem. So if you got any value out of this, go ahead and subscribe and come and see us on our live show we do every Saturday and we'll see you next time. Y'all be good.